In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called find minimum and rotate a sorted array. So given a array, we're basically trying to find the smallest element or the minimum element in the rotate a sorted array. So here you can see we have an array. We want to find the smallest element in this case is 1. So in this case, um, the original array was this and it was rotated three times. And now you can see the array is um, is is rotated and we want to find the smallest element in this case is 1. And then here you can see we have another array which is rotated. We want to find the smallest element in this case is 0. And there could also be a situation where the array is rotated 4 times, right? So in this case, it, the array is sorted, then we can just return the smallest element is at the left. So what we can do for, to solve this problem is we can use a linear search um, by searching each and every single element to find the smallest element, but this will give us a big O of n, where n is the number of elements in the array. So what we can do instead is we can use a binary search. And one thing though is that if you haven't seen my other video where I talk about binary search, and there are three types of binary search that we can implement, so be sure to check out this video right here called algorithm number three, binary search. So here um, the way how we solve this problem is basically um, by simply just just like how we do a binary search. We first find the middle point value, right? In this case, the mid value, which is here, 5, right? What we're going to do is this. We're going to compare the current value with the last value, in this case, 2. What we notice is this. If the, if, if the current midpoint, if the current mid value is actually less than the last element, right? In this case, we know that the, the smallest element will be on the right. However, if we have a situation like this, um, like this, where the midpoint is smaller than the, mid, uh, than the last element in the array, then we know that the, the smallest element, the minimum element, will be at the left. Right? So it makes sense, right? The smallest element in this case is going to be zero. So what we have to do is we first have to find the midpoint. And then what we're going to do is we're going to compare with the last element to see if the current midpoint is actually uh, s smaller, right? Smaller than the last element. In this case, if it's smaller, we're going to find on the left. If it's bigger, then we're going to find on the right. And uh, the way how we implement this binary search is that we have to access the, the left element and the right element after we do the binary search. Right, let me show you what I mean. First, what we have to do is we have to have our left pointer and the right pointer. So what we're going to do is we notice that the length of the um, of n, right? So n is bigger than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 5,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our left and the right pointer. And then our first task is to make sure that the first element is actually less than the last element. If the first element is less than the last element, then we can just return the first element, right? Because it, there's no there's no point for doing the binary search if the array is already sorted, and that's how we define it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see if nums at left is less than nums at right. If that's the case, then we can just return nums at left. Okay. Okay. So here you can see on the constraint it says all integers of nums are unique. So we don't have to say less than or equal to. We can just say nums at right is bigger than nums at left, and that's that's all, right? So what we're going to do then is we're going to perform our binary search. And what we're going to do is this. We're going to say while left, right, while the left index is uh, plus 1 is less than the right pointer, right, what we're going to do is we're going to do our binary search. And the reason why we're doing this is because we after we perform this binary search, we want to access the left pointer and the right pointer. And we want to compare who has the smallest element. Right? It's unlike the traditional binary search where we're, we're trying to, given a target, an array, we want to find an element in the array. This, this part is different. Right? We want to um, do post-processing after we find the range, find the position where this, the minimum element located. Right? So what we're going to do is we're going to first have our midpoint, which is low plus high minus, uh, right minus low, 
or right minus left, I should say, divided by two. Right, this will give us the, um, the, the, the midpoint, right, the average. Then what we're going to do is we're going to um, let nums at mid. Okay, so if the current midpoint, right, if the current midpoint is somehow, so for example, if the current midpoint is uh, bigger than, is bigger than the, uh, the last element, right, in this case, nums at right, then what we're going to do is we have to find on the right side, right? It makes sense. So what we have to do is we have to get our left pointer equal to the mid pointer. Otherwise, we have a situation where nums at mid, right? We first have to see if the nums at mid is actually bigger than nums at, nums at right. If that's the case, then, then the, the smallest element will be on the right. Otherwise, we have to find um, on the left, right? So in this case, right is equal to mid. So we're going to continue to do this until we find the position, right? We have our left, we have our right, and then we're just going to compare. So we return the minimum between nums at left and nums at right. Okay, so now let's try to run the code. Let's use a few more examples. Okay, let's try to submit. And here you can see we have our success. So basically, this is how we solve the problem by simply using binary search to improve the time complexity down to log in. So there you have it. Thank you for watching.